Okay, so last time uh, you guys continued on your quest to recover the ancient axe of Basilmer Orc Splitter, assisting Gargosh uh, Blusterhelm. Man, I'm, I'm bad with his name. I think it's Gargosh Blusterhelm. Um, at the request of the Lord's Alliance, um, you accompanied him past Westbridge on the Stone Trail uh, and uh, were ambushed by some air elementals, um, continued down, down the road and found a camp that was abandoned and had been searching for clues as to why and then also to see if anything valuable had been left behind and uh, I think you found what you were going to find and that is where we left off last time. I apologize, I do have a question. Go ahead. Why does um, this guy want Orc Splinter? So it remember. is a famous ancient dwarven axe and his family has a shitty reputation so he thinks if he recovers this item and brings it back to his people, then he, he will give some honor to his family name. The Harpers and the Lord's Alliance are behind it because they are worried that one of the cults might get possession of it. So gotcha. they think it's okay. a good idea that he that he take it and get out of here. Okay. I think we deserve it, though. Yeah. He's kind of like shit anyway. Yeah. He's pretty weak. What's he going to do with it? Let's put it to use and kill some Skultists. But I'm not going to kill him for it. I do think it's worth uh, discussing. <laughs> it's a possibility like of in killing front him? of him? No. Okay. Maybe after we get it. No, I mean, okay. So this is this is either Theron thinking in his head or Travis talking. A little bit of both. Me asking you what he, why he wants it, was me thinking about wanting to take it. Is Theron? All right. Yeah. I mean, you guys have proven that you definitely hate the Harpers. Yeah. Fuck them. Who's a member of the Harpers? Theron. I'm not. Theron yeah. Is. I'm not saying that we just steal it and kill him. I'm saying that we might be able, we might want to like, you know, try to get them to give it to us. Yeah. At least borrow it until we kill them. The cultists, I mean. Do I know if it has like super magical properties? And in... you don't know what it can do. Mm. I would assume so, since it's a legendary, you know, axe. I don't know what it can do, but I assume it's. Yeah, I wonder what an axe called Orc Splitter can do. It just splits axe? wood very easily. Yes, wood. Wood. <laughs> orc is a type of wood. <laughs> where, where, where okay. Where did the axe come from? Where did what come from? The axe. Uh, the dwarves that used to live in the temple where the cultists live. I think. Or one of them, the Basilmer dwarf, a long made time it. ago, made it. The guy, the guy that the made your mask, Max, and made dark. it. Ah, this guy has many treasures. There's four of those weapons. Well, one's a one's a crown. Oh, he made he made a lot more than four. Oh, well, there was just four mentioned in the book or whatever. Yeah, we saw the, saw the one that fell. Into the yeah, Venom Fang was there, right? Yeah. And he knocked it down to the Underdark. As far as we know. Right. As far as we know. Okay. Well, I think we searched this camp a lot, so I don't know if that there's a lot more to do there. Probably not. I intentionally made you finish so that because three sessions in a row, people have asked me why Gargosh wants the axe. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Every session. I don't remember. I don't remember the last <laughs> two. It, it, it's fine. But what I mean is that is exactly the reason why I made you finish at this place before ending last time. Like I knew I learned when you were telling me I learned it at some point, but I didn't realize I had learned it twice already. I apologize. Okay. Just continue so on, moving I guess. on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Um, so the party leaves the camp heading toward the river. And as you get near the stone bridge, the DM in the guise of Gargosh will explain the stone bridge to the party. So Gargosh says, <clears throat> uh, So this is a, a gigantic stone archway. Uh, it's two miles long. And, and, and at its peak, it's 400 feet high. It spans the the widest spring flood of the river. Right now, the river isn't that wide, but in the spring, yeah, the width of the bridge is absolutely necessary. Oh, I actually have a handout. Um, handout. We've seen the bridge before. You seen the handout? No. Um. If I could freaking find it. The hell is it? You think if I wrote it down? If I, for some reason, have it named. Yeah, why didn't this come up? I looked up Stone Bridge and nothing came up. And it's literally called Stone Bridge. So, I don't know. There you go. Um, <clears throat> it is the, uh, it is a sacred site of pilgrimage for many dwarves. Uh, long ago... The dwarf god Moradin appeared atop the stone bridge to rally dwarves of the Iron Star clan against a horde of orcs. Uh, the founder of Basilmer, King Torhild Flametongue, died fighting a hill giant atop the stone bridge. Uh, it was originally built to connect those parts of Basilmer on the western and eastern banks of the Deseran River, uh, and it's made of smooth, fused, hard granite. You know uh, what? What? Sorry, Smash, you brought me a drink. Oh. Uh. Just a second. You done with it? Um. It now it's only fifteen feet wide, and it lacks railings or barriers. Uh. So anyone on top of it is at the mercy of the wind particularly in winter. So we'll have to be careful, but we don't have a wagon anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, we we're supposed to cross it, I assume, based on your directions? Yes. Where the heck is there one of those? What? <laughs> Bridge. That stone bridge. We're at the bridge. You're at the bridge. Oh, you're you're about to get on it. Oh snap! <laughs> you're like looking at the bridge while he's describing this to you. I was half asleep. And then and then and then Maxon goes. Well, anyway, what's this big stone thing in front of us? <laughs> I go. Well, I was gonna say something about the barriers. I was gonna be like, huh, barriers. What? Well, I have floaty shoes, so I don't have to worry about the barriers not being there. You said there's no barriers. That's, that's like true. A, kind of thing. Rob, it's four. I mean, oh, your floaty shoes. Okay, I was gonna say it's four hundred feet tall. Walking on water won't help. <laughs> well, shoes, I see. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's cross that damn bridge. Okay. Um, so it's only 15 feet wide, so how are you, you... You guys have three horses. 
So they definitely can't walk next to each other. Or they could, but that seems a little scary. The horse is in the back. Yeah, I would I would lead a horse. I wouldn't want to ride a horse. Yeah, so what's your what's your order? What are we doing? Alex in the back leading one horse. Darren's in the back leading a horse? Yes. Okay, so horse, Theron, then what? I want to be near Theron in case something comes and knocks me off the bridge. Hopefully he can make me fly. Okay, so horse, oh. Theron, horse, Grimgar. I guess I'll be riding a horse. Okay. Then Wait, no. Max and on a horse. Oh, yeah, whatever. Okay, horse. then who? And I'll be horseless. Okay. So then Urkin horseless, then who? Um, oh, I forgot about the dwarf. Um, <laughs> Put him... Can he go next to me? He can. Yeah, right. put him next. Gargosh is next to Theron. Okay, and then? I'll um, stay close in case uh, we get knocked off somehow. And what, what's his name in the front? Deltoid. Deltoid, thank you. Deltoid in the front. I'll have Gargosh hold the horse, and I'll just walk next to him. Okay, now he's doing the work. Well, uh, just I need to have my hands free in case I need to get some spells. Why don't you turn him into a horse? Could. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah, use, your, use your spell that does that. How long would it, will it take to cross a bridge, approximately, do I think? Yeah. That right now, actually. Um, two miles. Now, I'm assuming you guys are crossing being careful. Is that true? Yeah. I would say so. Okay. Excessively careful, I think. Excessively careful. Okay. Um, Stealth. Stealthy. Stealthy bridge crossing. Okay. So, I mean, uh, just a half hour, probably. Okay. Just a half hour, right? It means two miles. Yeah, okay, fifteen minute miles, right? Yeah, and who wants to race? Uh, I was I was debating <laughs> how long it took seeing if someone had a like ring of feather falling to put on if I would attune to it like halfway across. That's what I was asking. But it's not that long, so oh. um were you, were you guys resting before you went at all? I forgot to ask. Um you don't have to. It's like middle of the day, right? You could have taken a two hour ride. I mean, we're right by the bridge, so we... I mean, I'm fine to keep going. Maxon's riding a horse, so I'll give Maxon the riding horse. Okay, with either way, uh, if you guys want to I wouldn't mind taking the short rest. You're rest always right. resting. I don't have to. I mean, I have 13 hit dice. Uh, are we in a rush? Are we? I'll ask Gargosh, I guess, if he wants to. Leave it up to him. Yeah, by the time you guys get to the bridge, it's like 11.30 in the morning. You guys have lunch. Okay, you guys have lunch. Take a short rest. Um, um. At dice. Short rest? Yeah. Okay. Delta it's got a um got eight D ten hit oh. dice. Um and I get Spells equivalent to my current level. If you want to use arcane recovery, yeah. Okay. So I get 13. So I'll get my level 7 spell back. And. Oh, well, four, 4 and a 2. Perfect. I'm only missing a level 1 spell.
Um, and while we're taking a break, I ask Gargosh if he wants to uh, use the ball of scrying on his uh, brother again, or cousin. On the next day? Or was was when you used it, was it yesterday? I believe so. It wasn't it this was, day? It wasn't it before the bog that we did it? I don't know. Is there a way to find out? <laughs> what are you trying to use? The crystal ball scrying so we can he can look at where his cousin is. Remember if he used it yesterday. We I was pretty sure it, it was the day before. We used it when we first met him, right? I think we used it the yeah, first day. Yeah, you can use it. Let me just Yeah. It's a wisdom save, right? Um let me just click the spell. Nice level five spell. Let's see, wisdom, yeah. Wisdom saved, yep. Let me roll first, see what he gets. And if it's a bad roll, then I can actually Should look at minus five because he's he knows the target well. Connection on the target well, minus five. Is it even possible for him to be at that? Because <laughs> the DC is not 19, it's yeah, whatever it's... the ball's DC is. Which I want to say was 15. Okay. Um, I don't remember what he saw last time. Um, so he looks into the ball and it gets all cloudy. None of you can see what it, what it shows. Um, and he looks at it for a while. Um, and let me look at the map. He says, um, well, he's not, he's not on a road. Uh, he's walking with, with some other dwarves, um, along the, the edge of some hills. I remember now. We saw him. He was taking a boat from Yartar. Mm. Well, he's not on a he's not on a boat anymore. He's they're walking. Uh, they seem to be rushing a little bit, so they must not be there yet. Either they're in the Sumber Hills already, which is likely, or they got stuck in the Desert Hills somehow. But I. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's in the hills. It looks like he's walking alongside the edge. Water? No. Maybe not so, in the hills. We're headed to the be, halls, right? He could huh? be over here then, maybe? Or past that? Yeah, he could be, yeah. He's, he's, his, he's not on a road, though? No. Okay. If they're hurrying, then... Uh, either they're onto something or they're running away from something. We should probably hurry after our break. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> after we eat lunch. Got a mouthful of sandwich. What? <laughs> I couldn't hurry over my chewing. <laughs> what was the cousin going to do with the axe? Or was he going for the axe? I forget. He stole his journal to go for the X. Uh, probably. I don't, for the... I don't know what he's gonna do with it. Maybe he'll kill the leader of the Zentarum. Maybe he'll restore your family's good name for you. Um, That'd be nice. He's yeah. not my brother. He's your family. Eh, he's the evil part of the family. Right. He's the whole reason why we have a bad name. Because he, um, he was dealing drugs. He was doing drugs? Is, is that off? No, dealing drugs. Dealing to drugs. To children. Children. Dwarven children or human he... children? Uh, well, dwarves. Have you ever been hanging around orcs? 
Maybe he's actually a member of this entire too. Terrible people. Maybe Quit Spy sent to retrieve the weapon that can kill them easily. I don't know. Are, are any? Do any of you have any interest in killing orcs? Yeah. <laughs> Significant. It's all he talks about. It's all he talks about. <laughs> that and I think mermaids and some kind of elf that he. I don't think he wants to kill that one. Okay. Rare rats, I think, right? The other thing. He hates rare rats too. Rare rats, mermaids. You're pretty racist, actually. That's what I do. <laughs> or mermaids. Uh, goblinoids. I don't like goblinoids. Or goblins. Goblins are goblinoids, obviously. Why do I have two? Why do I have goblinoids and goblins? Because I think that goblin is the language that you got. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we should hurry hurry up after Perfect. them. Well, is our break done? Has it been two hours? Or is this it's the beginning? Uh, one hour. I don't know where you're getting two. Yeah. Oh, I'm drunk. Very drunk. <laughs> Let's go climb that bridge. Across the bridge. No, but really, though. Not Let's a good go. bridge for drunk people. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> you guys enter enter the bridge. You guys begin climbing up the bridge. Um, you travel along, and yeah, as you as you move up and up and up on this bridge uh, toward the center, um, it is super friggin' windy. Um, you're moving carefully, um, so I do want. Everyone to make a dexterity saving throw with advantage. Am I still on the horse? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Did you fall off and die? I would assume at the point that it became windy, you were still on the horse, but you can get off now if you'd like. You know oh, I, mean? I, I mean, I'm not going to tell you whether or not you got off. No, I, f I feel good on the horse. Horse is heading. Yeah, Ryan. I think I need lucky to re roll. Oh, my that. God. Oh, people. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> We're on city since like last week. Oh, that's a forever. So a particularly gusty bout of wind hits, and uh, Grimgar and his <laughs> new skinny body. Uh, that doesn't weigh as much, um, isn't being as careful as he should be, and he slips as the, as the gust of wind hits, and he falls down, and he starts to roll toward the edge. I dash toward him. Okay. You cast fly. <laughs> at, level, at level four. Okay. So do it on Stop. both of us. All right. Stop rolling, go flat. So you, so yeah, so you run at him and you cast fly at fourth level. All right, <laughs> you can both fly now. Can I roll off the edge? Sure. <laughs> sure. Do it and then, and then fly, fly back up. All right, as you fly <laughs> off, Aaron that. loses concentration because he laughs, and you die. <laughs> oh well. All right, oh, that was a good run. All right, okay, so you guys both have fly now. Um, as you kind of crest the peak of of this arched bridge, um, <clears throat> you're about a mile into the trip, obviously. You see a number of figures on the bridge ahead of you. Um, they are dwarves in leather armor. There is a human in light blue robes, and there are two giant eagles with riders. They appear to be sitting on the edges of the bridge, facing north and enjoying the view. Um, as you approach, they stand and move away from the edge of the bridge, uh, and the dwarves draw longbows. The, um, the, the guy in the robe uh, kind of raises his hand over to you and waves, um, and like cups his, his hands over his mouth because of the wind. 
and says, Well met! Finally caught up with us, eh? Your adventure ends here, I'm afraid. Archers, loose! Everybody roll initiative. <laughs> That's the best voice I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, oh. Good. Right. So that's uh, yeah, this probably is, okay. this is where we are. Okay, and I'm flying currently. Let me put that on before <laughs> I forget it. Where am I? Oh, what are you laughing at Grimgar? Oh, my initiative streak continues. Oh my god! Hey, it's so easy. Alright, so uh, what's going to happen is Grimgar was flying off the edge and Theron would have to be right there. So I've shifted you guys. Oh wait, no wait. This isn't that moment though. So you guys kept kind of moving forward. I'll leave you in the order you were in. I wasn't paying attention though because I was like flying, like trying it out a little bit somehow. First time flying? Uh, oh, shit. I don't remember. Damn it. You know how, like, when I fly, Joe, it's a uh, lightning yeah. bolt? Uh, yeah, kind of like Static Shock. Yeah. What is it the same for Grimgar? Or would uh, he get it doesn't to... have to be. What do you want it to be? Oh, I get to pick it? <laughs> yeah, you get to pick it. You cast a spell. Okay. Um... Hmm. Fuck, well, I gotta think about it for a second. Where's Deltoid? I am working on it. I'm making lots of mistakes. I see. Um, so the eagles should be... Oh, I messed up their initiative too? Damn it! Okay, so theirs was 14.2. And the eagles got to go right after them. And... Did I roll for Deltoid? I don't think I did. Seems to be like there's a lot of good initiatives here. Um. trying to figure out which of them goes first. Okay. Deltoid is the first result. 19. The other guy's 11. Okay. Um, those are the only ties, right? Yep. Okay, uh, so he commands his guys to, to fire arrows, Erkin. What do you do when that happens? Return fire! They haven't actually fired yet. Oh. He just said it, and you <clears throat> got the initiative. I, uh, start right. firing. Okay. You heard the man. I mean, because I assume all these guys are, like, drawing bows, and he's shouting at you that you guys are kind of reacting, so they don't get, like, an ambush round. That's bullshit. All right, how far? Pretty far, not that far. One fifty. What's the bow do? One fifty. All right, I'm gonna move up and shoot people. Okay. Nine, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. Oh my God! And then it's a straight line. How is that hard? Shoot the guy in the front hmm. with a bow. Thrice. Okay. Times. Okay. 
dose. Okay. 24, that's a hit. 23, that's a hit. Trace. 29, that's a hit. Okay. Extra D8. Okay. He takes all of that damage. End of turn. Okay, Theron, you're up. Okay, you're first flying. off, I want to... Grimgar's flying thing looks just like uh, a bunch of little sapphires, and he's just like riding on like a bunch of sapphires clumped together. Okay. Um, and cool. I can fly sixty feet. Go here. No, you're supposed to count it out five feet at a time. Oh. <laughs> go back and redo it. <laughs> it's almost really fucking far. Um. Is there anything that can reach that far? Fireball is 150 feet. So I am going to... How far away are you? Uh, 135. Okay. First guy. Uh, but I am worried about destroying the bridge. So... With what, fireball? Yeah. No, this but is... I... This thing is thick. That You don't have okay. to worry about that. It's, um, okay, I'm gonna... It's... it's, it's it's a it, the bridge was made with magic. It's literally one huge piece of fused granite. It's not like there's not like bricks or anything. It's one thing. So you don't have to be worried about that with fireball. Other things maybe, but fireball isn't destructive enough to do that. Okay, so I'll throw it and I'll. I assume I can only hit these four here. Uh, it's going to be a necklace. Can I, I can throw the necklace just as far as I can cast it, right? Okay. So you, it's a DC. Can you draw 15. it out? Can you use uh, a spell token? Let's see. Fireball. I hope you can so that I don't have to. There it is. And Fireball level 3. It is actually um, DC 15, and there's no plus 5, I believe. Because it's not me casting it. Yeah. Um, okay. How far I, I I don't see anything on my screen. How far is it? How far is what's the range? I don't know where you're putting it because I don't see it. You don't see it? Yeah, no. I can see it. It's right on top of the four of these guys. I don't know how to make you see it. It's kind of centered <laughs> like right here. I don't know why I can't. I don't know either. It's it's more than encompasses them if that's what you're worried so about. So it's it, the four guys. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I can even reach if it, yeah I can't reach them even if I wanted to. Okay, deck saves. So. Two saves. Fail. Okay, so 24 damage. So the first one saves 12 damage. Second one fails. That's the one that Chris was shooting. Third one save 12 damage. And this dude 24 damage. Okay, this one is now bloodied. Oh. Okay, anything else? I don't believe so. Okay. I would assume I flew when I initially flew like five feet off the ground. Like I was floating five feet when I after I saved Grimgar. I don't know. This is this is like five minutes later. Are you still hovering? Would uh, you still be five feet off the ground? Oh, five minutes five later. Minute, five minutes later. Okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah. This wasn't like immediately. This is you did that, and then you got you uh, walked so for a while and got to the peak of the bridge. And I mean, I would assume if I cast the spell, I'd just be floating until it ran out. Yeah. Okay. So you're five feet off the ground minutes. then. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So Max, and you're up. I'll shoot the one that Chris was shooting after. Uh, do I have more movement speed? Because I'm on a horse. 
Uh, that horse's movement speed is 60 feet. Oh, wow. Uh, double mine. I'm gonna ride the horse. To where... Wait a minute. Oh. Whoa. What's happening? <coughs> Okay. I don't think I can move the horse. How far did you go? That's fine, right where I am. Okay. All right, make an animal handling check to make a horse gallop across the bridge 400 feet in the air with no railings. Oh, come on. I'm a pro horse rider. <laughs> Let's see. No problems rolling. I actually don't uh, think that you have that I didn't step. Mean to do. I don't uh, 16 is good enough. Okay. I don't think you are a pro host horse rider. Got plus six? Well, I do have a good modifier to my animal handling. Yeah. Well, you're lucky. You might have died if you didn't. What do you mean? <laughs> um, I can fly. Oh, who knows? You might have gotten trapped under the horse. Uh, the horse would have bit my arm and dragged me down. Here, come with me. <laughs> okay, so you ride the horse up. I shoot him three times, the one Ooh. that Chris was shooting. Okay. I'm going to use... Hmm. I'm going to try and get the extra necrotic damage on him. Okay, 12 damage. 13 damage. 14 damage. Okay. I'm good. Alright. Um, Deltoid will... Hmm. He's not going to rage... Because if he doesn't hit anybody, it'll go away. So he's going to just run. Now his speed, I believe, is 40. Yep. So he can run 80 feet straight ahead. And he's just charging them. Okay. On the wizard dude's turn... Um, okay, he pulls out a scroll and reads it, and a faintly shimmering barrier springs into his existence around him and the other guys uh, near him. Um... And, uh, he goes, he goes, <laughs> Give us your best! Um, alright, so, this archer in the front that everybody was destroying, um, he pulls his bow, and when he does, the arrow in the quiver lights on fire, and he takes his first shot at Urkin. Um, and he adds his archer's eye to the attack. 26. Yeah. Um, so, Urkin, you take 11 damage, 8 piercing and 3 fire, and then he makes two more longbow attacks on you. Um, he got a 30, that's for 13 piercing and 4 fire, and then his last attack is a 29 for 9 piercing and 5 fire. The second dude is going to shoot at Deltoid. Um, he uses his, his eagle eye thing on that, I'm not going to roll it because it's a hit anyway. So Deltoid takes 18 damage, followed by 8 damage, followed by a crit for 28 damage. So Deltoid has 9 hit points left. The last guy, we gotta look at ranges. Um... 600.
Okay, he can shoot at Max in no problem. The last one is going to take three shots at Maxon, doing the same thing. Um, does a 19 hit? Yeah. Okay, I rolled the d10 anyway. Uh, you take eight piercing and five fire, followed by six piercing and four fire, followed by nine piercing and five fire. The giant eagles, or the guys on the giant eagles, are going to... What's their speed? 80 feet. So One flies there. And one flies there. I'll put the guys on the front. Of the eagles. Um, the top one is going to shoot at Theron. Uh, eagle eye thing again. So this is, well, natural one misses, so it doesn't matter. So he uses his eagle eye on that, but it can't possibly hit you. Um, the second one is a 25. Absolutely. Six, six piercing and four fire. Um, I have fire resistance, so two fire. Okay. Uh, make a concentration check. It's concentration saving, or is it wisdom saving throw? No, it's constitution saving throw. Constitution <laughs> Even better. Okay. And then he... 15 misses! How about that? Of everybody to get yeah. missed, Theron. He missed twice. The wind, it's, it's pushing me around. It's making it hard for me to get hit. Right. Um, who hasn't been shot twice? Maxon. So the last guy is going to shoot at Maxon twice. Um, so Eagle Eye. Natural 1 is a miss. Damn! Second attack... 26. You take 13 piercing and 4 fire, followed by 6 piercing and 8 fire. Grimgar, you're up. Gargosh isn't on the friggin' initiative! Damn it. I really messed up the initiative. Gargosh sucks anyway. Gargosh didn't... Oh, he didn't roll. Easily the best person to have forgotten. Hmm. I mean, I rode the eagles, but they just go after the archers. Didn't really need to do that. Plus, I also messed okay. that up and had to fix it. Okay. Um, he got an eight. All right. Perfect. Fine. He goes. He goes right in front of Grimgar. Um, on his turn, he goes. Uh, yeah, I'll just Grimgar. You go. I'll I'll, I'll keep track of these horses. Go, go ahead. Grimgar's turn. What What did he do? He's, he'll he he takes the reins of your horse so that you can go. Wow. I see. Gargosh, do you know who these these guys are? He says, "Well, I, I assume the that they work for my cousin, but I've never seen the human guy before." I think to myself, he's as useless as always. Um. <laughs> <laughs> do I know? Do I have any idea what this barrier is that the guy put up here? Make an Arcana check. <clears throat> da, 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 Arcana. Seventeen. <clears throat> um. You think that it is Globe of Invulnerability. Okay. Then I guess I won't try to hit them. How do I want to do here? I guess I'll move first off to here is 30 feet. Or I can move 60, right? Because I'm flying. Yes. You should definitely fly over the edge too and just hang out over there while you're fighting. Yeah, I thought about that. Yeah. yeah. Just stay out that way to distract him, right? 
Well, if I can move 60, I'll just move up to where this horse is, I guess. And Deltoid's looking pretty hurt. Yep, he should have raged. He didn't realize how bad this was. Damn it. Don't. Because when he's raging, he takes half piercing damage. That is a, and that is legitimately a mistake I made. He's 40 that wasn't on purpose. I just kind of forgot. Couldn't rage, right? Because if he rages, even if he doesn't do anything, he doesn't keep it, right? He keeps it if he takes damage. So he could have. But he didn't know he was going to take damage either. Ah, shit. I mean, he said Archer's loose, so. True. And there you can move six. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. Okay. He's still not. So I was hoping I'd get within 30 feet of him. Um, I guess I'll just use uh, Mass Healing Word. Level 3. <clears throat> Okay, what's the range on that? Yeah, I was just going to actually check that before I clicked it here. I think it's 60 feet. It is, it's 60 feet. Okay. So, 11 each? Yes. 11 to everybody? Yep. Cool. Okay, you don't, you don't get Gargosh. Yeah, besides Gargosh. He's too far away, but he could have used a little bit of hit points. Yeah. Is Maxon underneath you? Yes, I think so. I'm on the horse. How high up are you flying? Uh, just above him, I guess. I don't know. I, I mean, I, if you're I, five feet up, his like head is in your butt. Because he's I'll sitting be, on a horse. I'll so be his here head is like eight feet up at least. Okay. I'll be next to him instead. <laughs> you're like sitting on his face. Well, I couldn't see him. I can't see him on there, so I couldn't tell exactly where he was. Oh, you can't see him on the horse? No. I, I just see the horse token. Now? Yep, I see him now. For me, you see, I don't like this. For the DM, yeah, it looks right it for always for the DM, it always puts puts player tokens in front of everything else. So, if if for you guys, it's behind a creature, I don't even know it. Mm, okay. It puts my character token on top of everything else. Right. For, that's it. Does for you guys? Yeah. Yeah. And I guess so. That was my bonus action. Um, God, I don't really have anything I want to use if he's in in that invulnerable state there. Well, I guess I'll use uh, guiding bolt. On... If, if I mean, whenever you have no other action you want to use, there's always readying an action in case something comes near you, or the dodge action, which gives people disadvantage on attacks against you. Yeah, I thought about dodge, but I'm going to hit um, this eagle up to the north with Guiding Bolt instead, okay. which has a range of 120 feet. All right. You're taking the eagle, right? Correct. Wow, okay. what a terrible roll. Eight damage. And the next attack on that eagle has advantage, right? Correct. Okay. Before the end of my next turn. For anyone? Yep. Interesting. Yeah, Guiding Bolt has a sweet secondary effect that if you hit, the next attack from anybody has advantage. That's what mine does, too. I'm gonna like this. What's your maneuver? Okay, um, that's Grimgar's turn. So, Erkin, you're up. I'm gonna whip out my old trusty heavy crossbow plus one. And okay, load so, it with he, it. so he crosses out his whip and whips out his crossbow. Yeah. I, cr I back cross the whip. Uh, whatever. I'm going to shoot the uh, the eagle that he just casted on with a tranquil bolt. 
Mm. Okay, advantage. Have advantage. Good thing. Uh, where is that bow? Everything's <laughs> Wow. All so, right, it takes nine damage, and then what else happens? Or does it even take nine damage? Okay, he's gonna make a DC fourteen con saving throw. Con save. Come on, bird. Nice. Well, okay. Uh, or if they fail that, they become unconscious for one minute and cannot be roused <laughs> except by magical means. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the bird falls asleep, and the dwarf goes, "Oh no!" Ah! <laughs> I love that so much. Good job. Oh, great. All right. Yes. Dead and Dev. I'm going to run behind Maxon on the horse. Yeah. I mean, okay. Let's let's just roll the damage. Now, the maximum fall damage you can take is 20 D6. 73 damage. Okay. So, technically, that dwarf is not dead, but he is absolutely out of the fight. Yeah, like, it, it's it's one d six per ten feet, but they say that twenty d six is is the critical critical mass fall damage. The eagle dies on impact for sure. <laughs> All right, that's attack number one. I can't attack again with the, the bow. I don't think with the crossbow. No, you can't because it would it would require one of your attacks to reload it. Yeah, I need to do that. That's the thing about right. crossbows is that unless you have a feat that says otherwise, it takes one of your attacks to reload it. I think crossbow expert is the one. Hmm. Even if I have extra attack, I still need the, like, the bonus hand to load it the second time, which I yeah. can't do. And that's the downside to crossbows, but crossbows do more damage than longbows. Alright, that's it. I'm done. Okay, I mean, it was a good turn either way. Theron, you're up. Okay, I am going to cast Clown of Stars as my action and a bonus action to attack. Uh, and I can reach this one from here. Okay. Okay. Who are you attacking? Oh, sorry, the eagle. Eagle. Okay. 20... No, 17 damage? Uh, 22 damage. That's evocation? Yes. Okay. 22 damage. And I'm just gonna fly upward 15 feet. Okay. So I'm 20 feet above the bridge right now. Okay. Action. Uh, oh, shit. Hang on a second. Sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot the eagle three times. With the necrotic bow. <clears throat> okay. Uh, your first attack kills it. Oh. And so they fall as well. I'm not sure what else to do then. So you have two other attacks, I'll let you keep the rolls. I mean, you don't know what the spell... But... 
I mean, what? obviously, it's something to protect them from projectiles. Why don't you find out? <laughs> one, of those, one of those goes towards him, then. Which guy? Wizard. Yeah, the wizard, sure. Okay, how far away? Oh, it doesn't matter for you. No. Um, 18. Okay, yeah, that's a hit. He takes 13 damage. Aha. Uh -huh. Wizards are stupid. Um, yeah. well, let me see. Send the other one his way, then. You turn into a rabbit. Yep, that hits him. Um, concentration check. <sighs> And there has to be there had to be some kind of flaw in this pal. It can't be a perfect defense thing. You can just stand there all day with you know, perfectly protected. Um, the second cool. one hits him for eight damage. Some kind of wall of force or something. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is a okay, so we can't we can't shoot through wall of force either, but they can shoot through that, so that's the trade off. I'll just stay where I am. Okay. Um, Deltoid just got messed up. I'm gonna be right back. I think. I think what he's going to do. Is I think he'll rage and take the dodge action. Uh, what are using for rage? I think that, and then dodge action. Just have to remember. <laughs> Um, and he will move up. He will be. be 40 feet away. So you're not afraid of death. You will run across the bridge at four he is, guys. He is definitely not afraid of death because he can be brought back to life for free. Yeah, well, it depends on if Grimgar survives. <laughs> well, them shooting Deltoid means a better chance that Grimgar survives it. Yeah, Grimgar never dies. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, the wizard Okay. Oh, what the hell? Wait, what popped up? Constitution. You rolled that before, though. Nothing's popping up when I'm pressing this. Hmm. Uh, the last one, nothing popped up on me. Okay, hold on. Let me try this again. Go for it. I want to talk to the man who broke roll 20. Okay, anyway, he's casting Lightning Bolt. Um, and I'll have an option to counter spell. Are you 60 feet away? No. Then no, you can't use counter spell. Yeah, Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt isn't even a smart thing to do because it only goes 100 feet. And you guys are like 150 feet away. Um, fifty. That wouldn't work. No, lightning bolt's a hundred by five. Okay, so you can't use that anyway. Let me go back to his character. I always forget counters a little short. Yeah. I always think I just have to see him. All right, this is what he would do. Twenty foot radius. Um, 
I will use Hunger of Hadar Circle. Level 20 is just not doing anything tonight. It's just not. Nothing's working right. It's very slow. Yeah. Yeah. Global. Um, well, let's see if I can get the uh, spell description to pop out when I do it. I can't get the circle that shows the spell to pop out. Son of a bitch. I think Ice Storm. That doesn't show up either. Okay, um, this is a 20-foot radius, 40-foot high cylinder. Um, centered basically right between Urkin and Maxon. Um, now would he do it further up? Yeah, because you guys are coming toward him. I guess I'll try dragging the spell token out one more time. There's like three spheres on the map then. Why can't I see them? Let me, let me refresh my roll 20. I would technically wouldn't be in this. Range, right? It's 20 foot so, radius. So I'm 25 feet in the air. It's a 60 foot high cylinder. 60 foot high. It's not, okay. a, it's not a sphere. Well, radius. I thought radius was all the way around. What, what spells he casting? But it, but it's 60. But it's 60 feet high. It's a cylinder. Radius of the cylinder is 20 feet and then 60 feet high. Yeah. Okay. Now I can see him. Travis said he wasn't in it because he was up in the air. And I'm saying it's not a sphere. It's a yeah, cylinder. No, I didn't know it was a cylinder. What, what's he casting? Well, let, let, me, let me try to... No, it's not Hunger of Hadar. Oh. Let me try to cast it again now that... Nope, won't work. Ice Storm. Ice storm. So a hail of rock hard ice pounds. Well, I can do the. <laughs> okay, so everybody make a deck save. <laughs> God damn it. Just my last rank insignia for this. Do you see my roll for it, Joe? Your roll. I roll my damage. I have, have um. I mean, you could use the damage whatever you want to do, but I don't understand. I what 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 are my eyes spell. looking at? Do you see the spell there? Dexterity save. Yeah, that's how that, I just clicked Ice Storm. You see it says Ice Storm down at the bottom of that, that spell? Oh, yeah, but it doesn't give the spell description. Okay, you want the description, okay. Yeah, I, I, put, I put it in there, though. I mean, for some reason, the link on, on his character sheet isn't working. Um. Okay, the horse got a 17. What is his DC? Would have to be. Only a fort. He's only fourteen. All right. So, Erkin passes. Grimgar passes with the best roll of his life. Horse passes. Theron fails. Um, Thanks. Or is he still stepped away? I think he still stepped away. So bludgeoning damage. Um, that's nine for Theron. And four for everybody else. Including the horse. And cold damage. It's 15 for Theron. And 7 for everybody else, including the horse. So the horse is alive at 2 hit points. 
Um, Theron, I need you to make a concentration check. Um, your DC is twelve. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Oh no. So you fall twenty feet to the ground. Make a dexterity saving throw. If you succeed, you take no damage. Ah. <laughs> um, uh, it disadvantage because of the ice on the ground. Ten is good enough, but you got to do it again. Okay. So ten and a fourteen. Um, so you succeeded. So you take no damage as you land. Um, so that is difficult. The only effect is that it is difficult terrain until the end of his next turn. Um, okay. The archer guys go again. So the one in front is going to try to shoot Deltoid, and he has disadvantage because he is taking the dodge action. Uh, that is a 14 plus. He's using his archer's eye. It's a 20, so that's a hit. So Delta takes four piercing and six fire for 10 damage. The second attack, 17, is a hit for eight damage. Delta is down to two hit points. The no. third attack is a miss. Okay. The second archer shoots at Grimgar. He is going to use Archer's Eye. Natural one, it missed. That's the third time using the Archer Eye that I've rolled a natural one and couldn't hit. Second attack. Oh my god! <laughs> you just terrible archers. Okay, you take 10 damage <laughs> because, you, because you talked shit. <laughs> Every time you you talk shit, you get <laughs> fucked up. All right. The last I mean, guy is good. going to shoot at Maxon, who's in the front. So Eagle Eye um, would be a hit anyway. That's 13 damage, plus 12 damage, plus 19 damage. Rob, are you here? Okay, I'm going to give him that damage. 13, 12. And 19. And we gotta see if he passes his deck save on that spell or not. Uh, we don't have any giant eagles. Gargosh isn't gonna do anything. So, so Grimgar, it's your turn, but we gotta wait for Rob to come back before we can do anything. Okay. Um, because we gotta know, like, if he fails... I don't think he'll be unconscious, but I think you wanna know how many hit points he has. Can't roll that for him. Does he have to roll? Does Dex save against that spell? Oh, storm. Okay. I forgot he was gone at that time. Did you move? Uh, I'm just gonna move so I can see his health bar. Did you? Uh, I can roll it if everybody is fine with me rolling it. If it happens to you. Yes. Okay. Dex save for Maxon. 16 is a success, so he takes half damage, which was 4 and 7, so 11. He's down to 48 hit points. Quite a lot still. Um... Yeah, I think he's fine. You should uh, attack. <laughs> don't let him trick you. The problem is I don't really have any good attacks from such long range. You can fly, right? Jump off the bridge. No, can't do that, that either. either. That's why I didn't fly off, because I knew I'd probably lose concentration. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> why don't you uh, send them to Actually, another realm? Does he have to concentrate on fly? It's my spell, right? So wouldn't yeah, he fall to the ground, too? He did fall to the ground. Oh, he did. Okay. He was only I... five feet up, so I didn't make him make a save. Okay. okay. Yeah, I was I was just kind of gliding along the top of the bridge. Yeah, at first he tried to be on top of Rob, and I was like, okay, his head's inside your butt. <laughs> Did feel pretty good. <laughs> felt pretty good. Um, Maxon's been growing this mustache. <laughs> Interesting. I guess. <laughs> I 
guess I'll do mass cure wounds. I don't really have a lot of good options, so I'm just going to do something. I've always said that Grimgar sucks. Yeah, just take a nap. Sure, I could take a nice nap. Kill yourself. Jump off the bridge. <laughs> 25. That's a good roll. Okay, so 25 for everyone but Deltoid? Yes. The horse That's included. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you just moved up a little bit, you could have included Deltoid, but whatever. Could I? Oh, I mean, you got difficult terrain. Yeah, that is 60 feet. That's a good point. Like difficult terrain, like... though. You'd only be able to move 15 feet. I do want to move, anyway. The um, horse gets 20... How many, say? 25? Yeah. So I could move More than it's max to okay. here. That's max Am I within 60 feet of him? No, not quite. So it didn't matter. Started with. I must have given it extra hit points for some reason. Four. I had full health. It took four. And it took eleven. I just have to give it eleven back instead of twenty. Oh yeah, I guess it did only have thirteen hit points. <clears throat> okay. Okay, that's it. Okay, so you couldn't get deltoid, right? No, I, I'm still 65 feet from him. Yeah. So. Been All nice. right, Erkin. If only he hadn't run up. Difficult terrain. All right, so I'll go 20 feet through the it to there. Mm -hmm. And I'll shoot the wizard with a longbow if it's possible. Um, okay, yeah, first attack hits. Fifteen. Since when do you do that much damage? Well, that's a good roll. Uh, got an eight. Plus five, plus two. Why is it plus five? Plus five dexterity. for dexterity, plus two for plus two longbow. Yeah, it's a good roll. The best roll. It's the most I can do, I think. Let's uh, shoot him again, if possible. Oh, wow. wow. All right. Uh, end of turn. Okay, Theron. Cast Scatter. Okay. On who? On hopefully myself, Max, and the horse, Erkin and Grimgar. Okay. Uh, assuming the horse is willing. Uh huh. Um, and it says that I can put them. At a spot I can see within 120 feet. Uh huh. <clears throat> so. I'm going to say the horse isn't willing because I don't think an animal would want a spell cast on it. I'll use a, do a wisdom saving throw to resist the spell. Okay. It would be 19. <laughs> so I don't know how wise this horse is, but. Yeah, let's see. Might have to roll a natural 20. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so he's teleported against his will. Okay. <laughs> um so uh, 120 feet feet from where I can see. So keep clicking all the wrong buttons. Okay. Um I don't need to go that far. So I will move myself just here. Mm -hmm. Where did I say? Where was I? Here. I don't know. Yeah, Where do so. they have to be? Do they have to be next to you? No, just a spot I can see within 120 feet. Okay, you probably should have moved yourself last, then. That's a good point. Let me put myself back. I was right there, right? <laughs> I yeah. don't know. I think I was. Okay, I'll do Grimgar first. Oh, I can't move, I can't move anybody. Yeah, where, um, do you want... where do you want Where do you want me to go? I'll, put... I'll just move Grimgar as far as I can. I'll put him right here. Yeah. Um, I will move Urkin right behind you. Okay. Nope. Right there. Oh. And Max and the horse will be right in front of Deltoid. Okay. 
And then I'll move myself. I think I delete myself. Yeah. <laughs> Let's refresh this. I will attempt to use bonus action of Crown of Stars on the wizard. I don't know if it'll affect him, but let's give it a shot. Um, what level is Crown of Stars? Level 7. Okay. Roll it. Ah, uh, yeah, you kill him. Ooh. You almost got okay. Away. I don't know what that spell does, then. <laughs> I guess Theron might know, but I have no fucking clue what that spell's supposed to do. Um, Globe of Invulnerability blocks any spell that is less than... Hold on. It blocks any spell that targets or would enter the effect that is a spell of level 5 or lower, um, even if the spell is upcast. Okay. So if you oh, cast good. a level... Like, if you cast Fireball at level 6... It would be blocked. You did that. You ended up doing that perfectly. He didn't even utilize the spell. Yeah, it didn't block anything. Pretty sweet. His um, initiative was so bad, he like didn't get to do anything. Sorry. All right, I'm done. All right. Um. Maxon. I don't know how the, the initiative always happens that you guys just go in one big group and then I have to take 30 turns in a row. It's true. <laughs> it's usually us as a group, then all of your guys, and then Grim. Right. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, but then happens... after the first round, <laughs> yeah. Grimgar heals everybody. You guys rush in and fuck everyone up. It's true. And then, I, then I've got to take 25 turns in a row with the remains. He's basically the ninth batter, so it's like he's like the second lead off. And then, then really, we're all still going like in the same yeah in a row. It's Grimgar, <laughs> then Kirkin, then me, then Maxon. Maybe we should do a Help snake draft. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking of doing in the in the next campaign is having there be a place where like reality is fucked up a little bit, and what we would do is each round, everyone would secretly decide what they're going to do, and then once you've decided what you're going to do. We would roll initiative for that round, and everything would happen cool. in the initiative order. And some of what you want to do might get fucked up because you didn't roll as high. Same for the enemies too. Yeah, same for the enemies too. It would just it would it takes a while to do that. That'd be really fun, I think. But it would be it's a completely different take on doing combat where it's initiative for every round. It'd be cool to have like a zone like that. Hey guys, sorry, I'm back. Hey, it's your turn. Right. Um, you died, but they brought you back. I really ran out of HP? No. It's not true. But you, but you did get fucked horse. up and teleported. Teleported all of us. There's a dragon uh, here and here. Dragons, run away! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. There's just three bad guys left. Oh, well, at least it's not the wizard. Um, is this the same front guy we were shooting before? Yeah, you guys never finished him off. He's had three hit points forever. He focused on the wizard, or on the eagles after the wizard did the spell. He's dead. I clicked. Oh, there he goes. All right, yeah, that guy's dead. Get out of here. All right, I'll do this one now. Okay, nine damage. Um, the second one, I'll do like a disarming attack or something. I can't do anything. All right. Okay. Roll the D ten. I think this is strength. Yes. Fails. He drops his bow. Aha. Uh -huh. Clanks at his feet and he just like looks down at it longingly. Good turn, good turn. Longing. Alright, Deltoid's turn. Um after all that, he was going to run up and kill the wizard, and now he can't because somebody else killed the wizard. So instead, he can't even reach anybody because apparently I mis mismeasured everything. Oh, boy. <laughs> um. All 
All right. Um. <clears throat> Shit. That's forty feet. Oh man. <laughs> I guess he'll just take the dodge action again. He's gonna be so pissed after this play ends. <laughs> man, I did so bad with Deltoid this round. All right. Um. Who killed the wizard? I did. All right. These guys both aim at Theron. Uh, this is the one with the bow now? He picks up his bow using his free object interaction. <laughs> Damn it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Man, this arming attack sucks, Rob. <laughs> All right. He only got a 14, so that missed. Oh, he sucks. I shouldn't say that. I take it back. Okay, no, don't do it. For Fifteen <laughs> damage. Uh, you take thirteen. You only take thirteen. Third attack is a miss. Jesus! Everybody else, wow. like they attack Grimgar, thirty, twenty-nine, and twenty-seven, and then they attack Theron, uh, twelve. Um, all right. Second guy that hits for a total of fourteen. Second attack hits for a total of 12. And third attack is a natural 20 for a total of 20. And they start to run. That's right. I eat those fucking shots, and I'm the wizard. Grim here. <laughs> um, I gotta move my map here. No, there we go. 55 feet. Let's, uh, old person here, they do the range on it. 60 feet. I'm going to cast hold person at level three. Try to get both of them. Okay, wisdom saves. Uh yes. DC. Ah, uh, that's a good question. One uh, succeeds and one fails. Definitely. You don't have to look, look it up. Uh, it's eighteen. Pretty obvious. Okay. Yep. You got a thirty-five and a one. <laughs> And but you don't know which one's paralyzed. Yeah, I'll, I'll yell out. I well, do I know if they succeeded? I guess I'm yes, not sure do. if I. Okay, I'll yell, I, I paralyzed one of them. <laughs> I paralyzed the ugly one. Up, uh, thirty feet here. Okay, that's it. Aaron, I'll say, let's try to just knock one of them out. And I will move up my Wait, 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 wait. But... I'm I I'm gone because I deleted myself. That's right. He was supposed to go. Oh, uh, that's right. Erkin, you're dead. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I'll move forty five feet. Okay. I'll cast infestation on this guy. Con save? Uh Constitution Saving Throw. Your DC is 16. Right. Takes 9 poison. He's a dwarf. He's got to be resistant to poison. Mm. Um. Yeah, I didn't put it in here, but it doesn't matter. He is. You fail. It's a little deep. So he takes 4 poison damage. Damn it. Why'd you roll a d4? If he fails, he has to go in a direction. He has to move north uh, one space. <laughs> Ah! Why'd you paralyze that guy? Paralyze, <laughs> paralyze that guy. Tried to paralyze both. He would have walked off a bridge. All right, that is going to be it. All right, Maxon. Me, you skipped me now. All right, Theron. <laughs> Um, which one has taken more, or has taken damage? 
Are they both, taking, both damage? taking damage? This one's been hurt a lot more. Okay. 30 feet. Um, but I would have advantage on my attack on the whole person guy, right? Yes. Okay. Well, well, it's probably easier to chance to surround him and knock him out, so I'll go after that guy, him regular. Uh, so, bonus action first, Crown of Stars. <laughs> Holy fuck. First, I'll just do 41 damage. Uh, 18's a miss. Fuck. Of course it is. Uh, I feel like I owe the most damage whenever I've missed. It just hasn't come up because whenever you guys have attacked them, you've rolled really high, but their their AC is 19. Okay, okay. Now for my action, I'm going to use Blight on him. Fails. Now okay. he takes. That's not evocation, right? That's ne necrotic, no. isn't it? It's necrotic. He yep. takes forty-seven damage. All right. Yeah, he's hurt real bad. He definitely would have been dead if that first thing had hit. Oh my god! If you had done eighty-eight damage to one guy in a turn, I probably would have had to like mail you a cookie. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, okay. he's fucked up. Maxon. I want to shoot the fucked up one. All right, he's shooting the fucked up one. That one. I don't know why it's taking so long tonight. Yeah, it's terrible. I mean, when I reloaded, my map is still blurry. Like, I don't care because it's just the ground, but... Okay, eight damage... <clears throat> 11 damage. He's still alive. Uh, um, hit him again. 14 damage. Alright, that killed him. Uh, you guys are your necrotic damage. Alright. Anything else, Maxon? Uh, no. Deltoid reaches this guy. All right. Finally, he'll be able to do something. So this is with advantage because the guy is paralyzed. <laughs> that's a lot of nines. Jesus. Yeah, that's a... Yahtzee. <laughs> yeah. Yahtzee. Seriously. All right. The second one's a hit. And because he's hold Purstons, it's an auto crit. So I have to roll all the dice again. Other thing is a d12. Uh, not very high damage. Um, you guys have won this fight, so he won't use divine smite. Eighteen, so twenty-three damage. If he divine smited, he could have really annihilated this guy. Um, that's his turn. This guy can't do anything on his turn except make a wisdom throw at the end. He fails. Grimgar. He's not bloodied um, yet. Not bloodied? Okay. Um... I can get on the other side of him. So I move to the other side of him. And I want to try to... I'll just hit him normally, I guess, if he's not bloodied. Seems like he's got a lot of health. Okay. But I say say to Delta, let's, let's knock him out. Question him. Ah, uh, that's a automatic crit. Okay, so I roll. 
another D8 to add to that. All right, so 11 damage. Okay. That's it. All right, Farron, you're up. No, he's not. Erkin, you're up. Still not bloodied. Uh, can we? Can I try to start tying this guy up? Sure. I'll start doing that. All right, make a dexterity check. Dexterity check. All right, Theron, you're up. Okay. Um, he's tying him up. He just not bloodied, right? He's also surrounded, so I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna. Dash. Get right there. All right. Action. Um, uh, I'll approach. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> Nothing else. Nah. Okay, Deltoid sees that he's not bloodied, so he's not going to pull his punch. Auto crit. Twenty six damage. And now he is bloodied, so the second attack is going to be to try to knock him out. We had agreed a long time ago that trying to knock someone out means you do half damage. So you're pulling your attack. Um, so that is... Divine Fury doesn't count. That's 16 damage reduced to 8. He is still conscious. At the end of his turn, we'll make his Wisdom save. Uh, DC's 18, right? Yep. Okay. He is no longer paralyzed. Grimgar. He is tied up by Urkin. Uh, if he's tied up, I'll just help hold him down, I guess. Okay, make a grapple check with advantage. What's grapple? <sighs> Athletics. Uh, Athletics. Advantage. Okay, yep, you hold him down. So I'll say we end initiative there. So you've got him tied up to some extent, and Grimgar is pancaking him. Cast friends on him. Okay, I'm so assuming we he gets have... advantage on the save. He gets advantage? Assuming. Uh... Hostile towards us. That isn't hostile. Um. Oh, he isn't. He so because he is yeah, hostile. He is so. hostile. Yeah. <laughs> do it then. Okay, so you can't even use that on him. You can't even. Use other it. other charming spells like that, you get advantage if you're in, if you're enemies. Okay. Um, this, be, I guess, because it's a cantrip, is you can't use it at all. Unless he's succumbing to Grimgard's pancake. No. Pancake. They're good pancakes. You know, um, you had Grimgar's pancake. I wave, no. um, what's his name over? Gur Gargosh. Gargosh, there it is. Do you wave at him to come over? Yeah. He he puts one hand up and shakes his head no. Okay. Max, and you want to bring me over there? Maybe he doesn't want to bring both horses by himself. I guess. Can I hop on with him, or am I too heavy? Sure. Okay, Max, make an animal handling check. <laughs> Alright. So the three of you go over to Gargosh. Hi. 
I want to drag okay. this guy into the middle of the bridge. Away from the edge. No, no, we gotta, we gotta intimidate him. Are you okay, Gargash? No, oh, alright. Tell us everything or you're going over the edge. Um, okay, you guys are talking. Talking to two people at once here. <laughs> um, Your skills. Do both voices at You once. heard him, Gargosh. All right, Gargosh, Gargosh <laughs> says, um, <clears throat> yeah, if, if he's one of, uh, one of my cousin's men, uh, that means he's one of my people. Uh, do what you have to do to him, but I don't want to be involved. Okay. Um, I'll take one of the horses off your hand at least. All right. Okay, Erkin says, tell us what something, or you're going over the edge. Um, Make an intimidation check, Erkin. Okay, he spits in your face. Thick, nice loo thick loogie. Cast a uh, zone of truth. All right. So, Erkin, make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, bitch. <laughs> is this a charm spell or something? Perfect. It is. He got a 16 on that. Failed. I'm not, I can't Fail. drive advantage up against doing charm, don't I? Is it a charm? Um, no, it's not a charm. Zone. The, yeah. word, the word charm would be in the spell if it was a charm spell. Uh, would you say wisdom? Wisdom saving? Charisma save, actually. Charisma oh, save. charisma save. Well, the dwarf still fails. Oh, well, let's, let's redo that, then. Venison got a 23. He succeeds. Um, and Ur so Urkin and the dwarf fail. My first Secret. turn to Urkin and say, are you head of the Zentarum? Uh, the, well, there is no Zentarum, so, you know, how can you be ahead of something that doesn't exist? Son of a bitch. Uh, I wish I was there for this. You can come back. <laughs> head back, but I don't know if that's this conversation. So. Anyway, uh, turn to the guy. Tell us who you are. Make a persuasion check. Hmm. Good. Spits in your face. Ugh. What's your name? He goes. <laughs> <laughs> What's your last name? I oh, doesn't answer. I, 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 I bet you it's a spit noise. Oh, there it shows up. Hey guys. There and we're about to kill this guy because he keeps spitting at us. Okay. Well, how do you want? Do you want me to set him on fire? Yeah, I could do that. Well, how about it, my friend? Do you want to be set on fire? Um, he. All right. He tries to lurch over the edge. My rope. Grab him. Yeah, I try to grab him. Okay. Uh, make an acrobatics check, Grimgar. Oh, no. Acrobatics. I would go to try to hold Grimgar. I'm going to say that Deltoid oh. is going to try to grab him, too. Wow, actually, good. Deltoid. Natural one. Um, he rolled a 22. Uh, but, you know what? He should be at disadvantage because he tied up, so hold on. Uh, I'll roll athletics again. 24. All right. Damn. So he rolls off the edge. He's gone. Well, let's see where he lands. Sure. Make a perception check. Oh, yeah. Okay. You don't see where he lands. You guys see where he went? I, I mean, he got up, so he couldn't have done a spell or anything. I don't think he could use one anyway. So he's probably dead. 
We we saw him fall, right? At least. Yeah. Okay. He rolled off and just fell. Yeah. Okay. He landed on an eagle or something. Yeah. Well, I, I presume we would have seen that, right? Make a perception check. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make assumptions over what you perceive when we have a stat for that. Ah, a a very perception. You can you can see where he landed. All right. I uh, see. So yeah, there he there's where he landed. Was he moving? No. Can dwarves fly? Evidently not. I think no. so. I I pull out one of my extra silk ropes and hand it to Erkin. Hooray! Walter, are you alright? You look rough. Uh, well, uh, that didn't quite go the way I would have wanted it to go. As opposed to the last time we fought. I well, I'm not much of a bridge fighter, I guess. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. You're fine. You, you got the shit kicked out of you. It's true, you did, but that's okay. Up. Better me than any of you. I mean, if if the attacks that hit me had had gone at Max, and he'd be dead. It's true. It's true. It's pretty. We're weird. all we're all terrible people. Well, you're no. the worst of us. Does he does he still have to tell the truth? <laughs> yes. Erkin, are you a good person? Compared to the rest of us, yes. Compared to the Does rest of us. Do you really believe that? Not me. I'm a Does hero. he believe that he's a better person than the rest of the party? I've seen some things. <laughs> did you, did you All think right, what you did fine. that was a good thing? Do you think what you what you did to Yartar was right? I think I think that was a good thing you did. I think Yartar is a it would have been better if I got the gold. Do you have any regrets? That doesn't answer the question. I don't have to answer your question, do I? You don't have, <laughs> you have to answer his questions. Whatever you say has to be true. Yeah, fuck you. We're just going to assume that you not answering means it's, you know, the opposite of what do you want. You say. Quit talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he, he, he says he says I don't like it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cast Channel Divinity uh, to give Deltoid half his hit points. Nice. And then uh, I've got total sixty five. Whatever he doesn't get, I think Rob can get. He can take thirty. Game. He can take thirty one. Okay. What do I get? Uh uh, you can take, you can go up to half your health. Assuming that's not more than uh, thirty-four points from yeah, what he, you're at. He can take thirty-two points. Wow, that's thirty-two. Close. Okay. How many does that leave? Two. Uh, third. Yes. That those can go to Theron. Theron, you're below half. He was. Could, oh yeah. Oh okay. I am at forty more hit points now after the two. Okay, well, after seeing the dwarf fall off, Gargosh and the other horse come up to catch up to all of you. There's this wizard. You guys have gone through two fights without losing any horses. That's very impressive for you guys. Is, right? Typically, all the animals that ever accompany you either die in the first fight or you make it someplace and then just leave them there forever. To be fair, most of them I create with them. <laughs> There was no alligators this time. Remember the time that Fintan stole a horse and then ran it to death? <laughs> <laughs> he named it too, and then just let it die. Uh, well, you search the wizard. Evil. I guess this is the dragon. <laughs> I think it was Packy, I think. Yes, it was. It was Packy. There's the one we didn't even make it out of. The, we barely made it out of the village and just got. Eaten by alligators. Yep. Alright, I, I want to serve this wizard guy. Does he have any stuff? He might. I want to search the rest of the bodies too. Okay, um, one more one more investigation check from somebody. 17. Alright. <clears throat> um, so Gargosh, I had an escape plan. He was going to cast Etherealness and just leave. Um, but you guys hurt him a lot in one turn, and I never got to do that. Um, huh? His name was also Gargosh? 
Uh, no. Did I say Gargosh? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, his name was Kavil Zeltabar. Much different. Um, he has a ring that looks fancy. He has a scroll. That's it. You said it was a ring. Fancy ring and a scroll. Um, the dwarfs. How many bodies did you recover? Two. Uh, there's three around him. I yeah, think. one fell off though. Yeah, then two. So two of them. Okay, so a total of one hundred gold, four daggers, two rapiers, two longbows, forty arrows, two tinder boxes, um, four vials of oil, and a uh, bright red potion. So you found ring, scroll. I put the ring and scroll in my inventory if you want to. You, you found you this, that twice. And I'll a have the gold. Red potion. I'll take 20 arrows. Okay. Max, I can take the other 20. Gold? If you want some arrows. Arrows. Oh, arrows? Yeah. I just put the money in the party item. I'll take the tinder boxes. Erkin, okay. you want the oil? Um, no. No oil. No, that's stupid. Doesn't, doesn't someone want oil? Or no? Liberté does, but he's not here. Might as well hold him on. For my, my whole thing in my D&D campaign is that every time we go to a town, he goes to the general store and buys all the oil. <laughs> I can't tell you what he's going to do with it because Taz listens to our uh, oh, okay. to our recordings. Did you take the oil? Are you want me? You, you want me to... uh, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. You take it? Okay. Yeah, I'll put it in. Uh, potion? Right, right, uh, potion. You want to take well, it, Theron? I'd like to get off the bridge and then try to figure out what the potion is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I can hold on to it for now. I have a poisoner's kit, which doesn't do anything. That's good. He has advantage in something, does it? Yeah. Uh... Ability checks to make or use poisons, craft or use. All right. So, what do you guys do? I think we should uh, get off the bridge and um, discuss with Gargosh what the hell that just was. Okay. So, you guys, I'm gonna move everybody just so I can get the group together to move the tokens. But, um, okay, you guys get together and. Over the course of the next 15 minutes or so, make your way off the bridge. Okay. Um, I just want to ask Gargosh if you knew those guys. Um, he says, um, I don't think that I knew any of them personally, but if they're my cousin's men, then uh, they're from the same place as me. Must be okay. pretty dedicated to him if uh, he's willing to kill himself rather than answer our questions. Yeah, I guess so. I, I, I guess I don't know why they'd be so dedicated. Hmm. You didn't Maybe. have a working for him. That's surprising. What was that? So he's even got a human working for him. That's surprising. Yeah, I, I can. I can only assume he paid them lots of money. Did the did the dwarves have any money on them? Yeah, they had a little bit. Oh, gold wow. each. Look how much? A couple gold. Fifty. Uh, Fifty gold each. Fifty gold. Wow, he did pay them a lot. Yeah, uh, dwarves will do anything for money. Isn't that right, Grimgar? Again, remember that fifty gold no. is fifteen thousand uh, I mean, dollars. Not me. 
you... I think I'm going to donate it to my church, actually. Are you really going to do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I thought you were just like, you're our accountant. I thought you're a banker. You're just yeah, giving away our money. I was, I was just uh, teasing him. You don't understand the, the ways of the dwarves. You would never give money to a charity, would you, Gargos? Deductible. You gotta get your deductibles in, man. <laughs> to a charity? Uh, well, or church? Depends on which church. I mean, your family wouldn't, because the, you know your family's shit. Who's, who's your family? Um, I'm an orphan. His family is actually all Ooh. better than him, probably. Doesn't even have a family. You don't have a family? I was raised in the forest. On the roots. Well, I also don't have a family, but is that why you smell, yeah. American? Um, <laughs> yes. I don't like to bathe. I eat like a pig and have bad manners. And you're racist as hell. And I'm racist, and I have lots of enemies. <laughs> uh, hey, by the way, who did you vote for last? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, so, where to next, Gargosh? Uh, well, uh, did you guys tell him that you know where the halls are? Um, did he tell us where we were heading? Yes. It was a big thing at the end of one of the sessions. Oh, that was like the last <laughs> thing we ended on, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah I think we did. I think, I think we, we would have. I think we would have told him right when he mentioned it. Okay, he says, well, I guess it would make sense to skirt the edge of the hills uh, and head to the halls from the north. And now that I'm thinking about it, that's probably where my cousin was, right? Yeah, so past Belliard. Right, it makes sense. Do, do any of you know this area well enough to identify that? Yeah, I do. Does that sound like it's right? It sounds right. All right. Oh, that also means they're pretty far ahead of us. Um, yeah. Is there any way we can help that, Gungar? I mean, we've got the disc, but we've never been to the halls, so it's not likely we'd end up there. He just said it. he's familiar with it. I'm pretty much there. Well, not the, the halls themselves, though. What if, are, you, what if, are you familiar? What if we go oh. as fast as we can tonight and then I've rest studied it. and then just go? Yeah. I've studied it, but I don't think I would know the topography. So sure. I don't think that would help. After second lunch. We can rush okay. at this point. Okay, I'm hopping on a horse. Yeah, maybe we can pick up more horses in Belliard. More sacrifices. Let's do it. Okay, so you guys continue on to Belliard. You want to try to get horses while you're there? How many more do we need? We've got three. We've got three, but two of them are pack horses, or whatever those are called. We trade two pack horses for riding horses. Riding horses are worth more. Okay, can um, we trade but more two, or less? Yeah. Two packing horses for three riding horses. I can't remember what the term I'm looking for here. It's not pack horse. Draft. It, it, draft horse. Yes. Um. Yeah, draft horses are fifty gold. Riding horses are seventy-five. So, how many horses do you need? Oh. Um, we have one riding, so we would need six total. So, we need five, five horses? more riding. Okay, so five, five times 75 is six, no, wait, 375, right? Seven. 375, yep. You get 100 off for trading in the other horses, so 275 gold. What do you want to do, Grimgar? Yeah, why not? We got lots of money, though. Okay. 
Okay, so 275 gold, you now have enough horses for everybody. Deltoid doesn't want to ride a horse, but he will, so that he doesn't get left behind. Uh, do we need, can we get feed or something for him too? Or would it be like eat grass? Um, yeah, you do need feed. Um, it's only five copper per day. So just take off a gold, and we'll say we never have to worry about it again. That gives you that gives you twenty days worth. Um, how many horses do you have? Six. So it'd be three days for all your horses. They're not gonna live much longer than that, right? Nope. Probably not. Okay, so one gold is fine. Okay, so. Uh, let's see, from where you were, moving fast, you guys could actually make it to there by the end of that day. Okay, okay so nighttime comes. Are you going to stop? I got to um, tell you, you have to. We should, right? We, I could probably use the rest for spells anyway. Probably, yeah. I think any more will probably fight. I'm at half, less than half health right now, so. Yeah, we don't want to catch up to him and get in the fight when we're not at full strength. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to use my tiny hut then. Tiny hut, okay. I don't have the mansion, so. All right. Um, so I need two. Well, unless multiple people are keeping watch, um, but I need two, a, a beginning of the night watch and an end second half watch. I'll keep watch. You can do two watches. Well, actually, three of us can do two watches. Well, no, we're, I, I'm only splitting it into two. Okay. Instead of four. I'll do my watch with Grimgar. Okay. So both of you make perception. think you could beat his 26 anyway yeah and then second watch deltoid i'll do it deltoid doesn't have dark vision either but he can do it uh deltoid it's gonna be bad what? 11 All right. <clears throat> um, okay. Um, <clears throat> Erkin, you, while you're keeping watch, you see somebody walking toward your tiny hut. Oh, shit. Can I uh, walk out into the darkness? Sure. Out of the hut? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, rendering myself invisible potentially. Yeah, make a stealth check with advantage. Okay, twenty-eight. How does that ability work? No, I will tell you. Oh, that's not it. Um, that's a while, maybe? No, that's not it either. Um, uh, that's the one. Okay. 
Got it. Okay. Um, where are you? Um, like what? Where? Like how far out did you go? Uh, f uh not. F f uh, I don't know. It won't be in darkness. Uh, yeah, it's all so, darkness. It's nighttime. You know, like twenty feet. Twenty feet out. Okay. Um, so you hear, like, as you're, like, creeping off, you can, like, see Deltoid in the thing, like, looking around, like, hey, where the fuck did he go? He's, like, looking around. He doesn't see this person approaching, but then he does notice, and, um, Erkin, you hear a voice say, well, hello there. What are you all doing out in the middle of nowhere? traveling along the hills <clears throat> he says uh he says oh well ma'am uh we're traveling to a location uh that doesn't require roads what are you doing out here by yourself it seems awfully strange and she says well i'm actually looking for these people here if you would be so kind as to Wake them up. Um, so he, like, shoves you, Theron, and you wake up. He says, uh, Theron, there's some lady here that wants to talk to all of you. I don't know where Erkin went. Uh. Okay. Hello. Um, you see a, uh, female red tiefling. Um, she is wearing a hood that's, like, half pulled back. Um, along with some kind of, like, silk shorts and, like, a silk tube top. Um, it's all gold-colored. Um, and you can see that she's got, like, a dagger on her hip. Um, she's super hot. Okay, okay. Um. Who else is sleeping? Maxon, Grimgar, Gargosh. Okay, uh, I'll wake whoever's closer to me. Maxon is We're, closer. He's, she's not in the tiny hut, right? No, she can't come in unless... You yeah. So. Okay. So I'll wake up all of them then. Hey guys, wake up. Yeah, uh, we have a visitor. Mm. Okay. Every, everybody wakes up. Yeah. Gargosh, being afraid of everyone at this point, backs as far away from her as, she, as he can within the hut. She says, well, that's most of you. Where is your wood elf friend? Um, why should we answer you? Uh, we don't even know who you are. Do, do I recognize her? Uh, make a intelligence check. Uh, intelligence. Oops, I made saving throw. Um, I don't think you recognize her. No? Doesn't look like anyone I've seen my visions or anything? Um... Can I roll? 16? Uh... It could be the tiefling from your vision. Okay. That's, that's, hard to, that's hard to tell. I mean, that was a while ago, and it was a vision. And it's nighttime. Could be. Uh, I can't even remember what the red tiefling did. I don't think she was a good guy, though. Oh, uh, yeah. The... So uh, I think it's. Well, Theron can roll too. Let's see what Theron gets. I'll let, I'll let that. 24. Lizard. Lizard. I, think, I think you're still not sure, but you, you, you guys had all of those visions. 
before um, about like Bully Drag and um, Neverwinter Burning, and there was a, a female red tiefling in those visions. And and Chief Yellen told us that a woman from the visions is Vanifer, leader of uh, Eternal Flame. That's right. That makes sense. Okay. He says, well, I'm just trying to make sure that everyone's here. What about your Triton friend? Everyone's here for what? what? Can you just tell me who you are, please? Well, my name is Vanifer. I'm here to have a uh, conversation. Awfully rude of you to wake us up. You mean Dundas? It's rude of me to wake you up. Well, you came into my headquarters and killed an awful lot of people. That's quite rude. Mm. I guess that's your opinion. Yes, and we're all entitled to our opinions, aren't we? I mean, you guys are evil, so I don't, I don't really count it. Evil's a matter of perspective, my dear. Mm, you want to destroy the world. I don't think that helps maybe very many people. You all wanted to destroy Yartar using using my devastation orb. What? We did not want to destroy Yartar. Certainly seems like you did. Maybe you're kidding. What do you want? Oh right, yeah, get to your get to your point. Well, as things stand, only one of the elemental gods will be entering this plane. And I would like it to be Imix, for Imix is the best of all. And so, I'm wondering if there's any kind of arrangement we can come to to make that happen. Is she serious right now? Uh, make a perception, ch or insight check. Like, does it seem like she's, like, looking down on us and just kind of talking with us? Before we even entertain uh, this conversation, um, why would you even think we would even listen to what you have to say? Because of our common enemies, of course. You've already teamed up with my people when you prevented Prince Bully Drag from entering this plane. See, I also don't think that you believe we're any kind of ally to you. So it's going to take a lot more convincing uh, if we're even going to continue this conversation. Um, Would you have all of the people you know drowned, forever floating in an endless sea? Um, probably better than burning. No. It's painless. It's over in an instant. And besides, the evil among you will be spending eternity in the Nine Hells anyway, where it's much hotter than anything the elemental plane of fire could provide. Okay, well, you're going to have to start uh, coming up with some better reasons why we shouldn't all kill you right now. You're going because to kill me? You're hiding inside a tiny hut, my dear. We're not hiding. We were sleeping. She, I think she, you know like, the she taps on it with uh, her knuckles and just kind of giggles. Is, is there any 
indication that she's not really here or something? That this is a projection? Um, well, you can make a perception check, but you can see that she just tapped on the on the dome. Now, I guess that could be a uh, mirage or something as well, but you can take a, make a perception check to see if you think she's really there. It's hard to tell. Mm. She's a humanoid, right? As a tiefling? Yeah. Like Liberté. Liberté is a tiefling. Yeah. Okay. So either you come with us, come with an offer right now, or we're probably going to have to fight you. She says, oh, well, that's just too bad. Besides, I was so enjoying your tiny hut. She goes to knock on it again. But this time when she does, she casts, casts Dispel Magic, and the hut disappears. We're going to roll initiative. Okay. I'm really fighting her. Um, don't, how do I do this? How do I do this? Do this by doing that. Erkin moved 20 feet out. All right, Grimgar. No. <laughs> Max is still really... before her, though. Max and sleepy. I want to get up. Yeah, you're, well, you're all standing up. Like, Max is just laying there the whole time. <laughs> Okay, now the Oops, first the the first the thing that I want to do here, because you guys did not get your long rest, is that if anybody wants to take a short rest, because actually Theron, Theron, it was four hours. You got your long rest. No, wait, you took first watch. Never took mind, watch, you did yeah. not get your long rest. Um, but if anybody wants a short rest. They can do it, and I'm going to roll hit dice for Venison Deltoid because you got a short rest. Nine. Um, I'm going to put Gargosh at full health because he doesn't really have hit dice, but he's rested enough that he should be at full health. None of the horsies are hurt. Erkin didn't take first watch. He, he should get long rest, right? Um, yes, Erkin gets his long rest. Cool. So if you if you used any hit dice here, you can take those back, and then of the hit dice that are missing, you get six back. Wait, what? Talking to Erkin. Uh. So maybe you're back at at full. Yeah. Okay. You get your spell slots back too, Erkin. All right. Now. As she casts the Dispel Magic and the dome disappears, the trees over here suddenly shake. And you guys hear... As a red dragon...
dragon comes out from the trees and on the other side of you from behind the trees what looks like a clockwork robot riding a horse with a fiery mane comes out on the other side okay, going back to sleep Oh, so we're fucked. I see. Uh, I'm going to roll for the horse, but it goes after the clockwork guy since he's riding it. All right, and since it's about 10 o'clock... I think it makes sense to start this next week. So next week we will start with this combat. Oh boy. And this should be pretty easy for you guys to put together that when you were told Vanifer was out recruiting a powerful ally you now know who that was. Us? No, the red dragon. <laughs> Just kidding. I think Maxon, <laughs> I think this is the I think this is the last dragon you knew about. Oh boy. Remember you knew of four dragons? I think this is the last one. And we had to fight this dragon and with all my best spells gone. Boy, that means I know his name. You probably do. Which one was it? Puff. Man, I don't even know what it is. Alright. And Venom Fang wants her alive or dead? I can't remember. Alive. Uh, either or, I think. I can't remember which one he wants more. I think, I think he, he wanted to kill her himself. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, lies so he can rip her apart. It must be Hel Helen Axis. Uh, okay, no. So it's not that one. Because we killed Novareem. Mm -hmm. We killed Bronze Fume. Mm -hmm. And there's Venom Fang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one, isn't, this one isn't that one. So never mind. This is a different one. Uh yeah, that's where uh that's where we're at. Sorry guys. Figure out what to do. It's yeah. gonna suck. What you, what you guys got left? <laughs> Let's see, I don't even know. How'd she know we were here? That's a great question, isn't it? Hurricane. Uh, Alright, I was thinking Hurricane. Oh, Kruger's <laughs> got a lot left. Maybe we yeah, can stop by these horses. I've got my level six and seven spells anyway. Yeah, Theron's in good shape too. You just don't have your top two. Yeah, they're just the most um, game changing. Yeah, most game changing. But I mean, you guys, you guys have most of your stuff. Urkin's back at full. Deltoid hasn't really used anything. You know, you'd think Grimgar would heal us before bed since he's gonna get his spell slot back. Yeah, well. Then I wouldn't have any spells for fighting. Yeah. Well, what are you going to use the spells for? Good thing, us, good thing this combat's going to go 20 rounds so Grimgar can use all of his spells. He's going to heal us all at the beginning and nah, I use hit base anyway. It doesn't fucking matter. Well, the Let's good start. news is that the dragon's initiative is pretty low. And so um, a bunch of you can take turns before he goes. Doesn't, doesn't Maxon have some, like, dragon slaying arrow or something? Okay. Maybe. What? Maybe. Dragon yeah. insta-kill. I don't think it's an insta-kill. <laughs> I don't think it is, so it might be. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> I'll try this anyway. <laughs> so, hey, this is going to be fun. <laughs>